Namaste everyone, my name is Smriti and today I am going to tell you about our amazing one day Kishore camp. So we started the day off by hiking uh, and it was a really fun experience and then we came back and then we did kale and it was so much fun. Favorite kale was probably when um, the hundred kales um, when we all you know had to work as a team and show the teamwork and like cooperation and communication. Um, but yeah, Kale was a very fun time. I enjoyed spending time with everyone. For me, today was really fun. You know, I uh, met a lot of uh, people after a long time. I also saw a lot of new faces, made new friends. Um, it felt nice to be back within my Indian culture, you know, experience all of those experiences. Um, and I think even with COVID, we're able to experience all these things. It's an amazing feeling. It was really refreshing um, to see everyone again, you know, say hi, catch up. It was, it was a nice um, icebreaker again. So there was this one kill, it was like dodgeball, where we used a tennis ball. You know, there was two teams, one team outside, one team inside. The team outside would throw the ball, and it required a lot of teamwork. So my team, we won, and the only reason we won is because we had good teamwork. You may yourself, uh, by accident, you may end up somewhere, going somewhere, or you may plan and go, but when you go there, you have a great experience. Showing up is very important in life. So, so many times we have these uh, things that come to us. People invite us to really uh, useful activities, good activities, great activities. But for some reason or the other, we don't go, end up going. Right? Have you had an experience like that? Like you did not go somewhere, but your friends told you what an awesome experience it was and then you were kind of thought, maybe I should have gone. So in life, it is really important to kind of uh, be open to the possibilities and the show up uh, as many different types of experiences as possible as many new things as possible of course we have to ensure that it is good it is healthy it is safe and if that is the case and it is not going to affect anything else in a negative way in our life then we should try to have those experiences that's very very important this is like the highlight of the day we all got to cook our own food for lunch and there were so many amazing dishes and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. We had so many dishes and uh, they all turned out really amazing. So we made our own food. Everything was, the ingredients are provided to us and our, the Kishores made everything from scratch. It was a little bit chaotic because there were so many people in the one kitchen, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen. But it was an overall great experience, you know. It was nice, you know, working with somebody else in the kitchen, you know, you really learn to collaborate and do it with other people and work together. And obviously the end result turned out amazing, so it was really worth it. So it was a great experience. So many times in life, things happen because we show up. And if we don't show up, we miss that experience. So some of your friends who may not be here today, who have been coming to Shaka, you can share this with them. What all you went through today, how much fun you had. So that next time they will also show. I enjoyed all of them to be honest, but uh, my favorite probably was cooking when I was going around criticizing everyone. Everybody seemed to be laughing and having a fun time. So it was nice to put smiles on everyone's face while they were cooking, running something new. We had like curd rice, we had uh, an aloo sabji, and then we had naan katai. Uh, and uh, there was also chapatis. Brahma, 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 Sahaviyam Karavahai Tejas Vidala Vadita Masu Ma Vedit Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 cook and 
I learned a lot of new people. I learned about our heritage. And yeah, I just loved learning how to cook Indian food, learning how we celebrate, learning how to do teamwork with other people, you know, with kind people, so it was very nice. One thing I liked most about it was like the bonding, right? Like there are little kids, younger kids, older kids, everyone was coming together, having fun, right? Like we did a, we did a presentation of Utsaps. I think that was a great way to foster our uh, Hindu culture while also supporting younger kids who don't really know that much about our uh, culture. And so I really love what uh, Sangha is doing for our community. So when you think of the differences, that is when you kind of begin to understand what it means to be a Hindu, right? And as we grow up more, as we deal with the world more and more, that those differences become more important. And when those differences become uh, like they are in your face, when you are really going through those experiences, that is when your identity as a Hindu, your awareness of who you are as a Hindu becomes very important. Well, my grandparents, they don't really go out a lot because they're, they're old and they can't do much. But the fun things they do give is before I leave, they do give me money. And I think we need role models because we need someone to like, we need someone like to be inspired by and do like maybe like greater things in the world that will help other people. Role models are also essential to life because then um, they show us what the right thing is to do based on like what you think right is but uh, I definitely wouldn't keep it all to me because I don't know what I would do with so much money it feels like a waste of money so um, maybe I would give some to people who really need it because for them even the smallest amount of money makes a lot of change instead of me who would be the richest person having a lot of money my favorite book or book series is Diary of a Women yeah <laughs> <laughs> Because like it actually like explains and like it's, it's it's sort of like a journal where this kid keeps a diary of himself, but like explains it so thoroughly like he's actually talking with someone. So it feels like you're actually getting someone like, talking to you or speaking with you while you're reading the book. So it's like a real feel in the story. That's why I enjoy it. A movie that influenced me was Free Guy because um. It taught me that I didn't have to listen to anybody else and I could have like, <laughs> whatever I wanted. Your parents. <laughs> um, and I didn't have to listen to my parents. <laughs> that I could do whatever I want. And it doesn't matter anyways. Honestly, if I had a superpower, it would probably be like either like invisibility or flying. Because well, mostly flying, because I don't like walking and um <laughs> I think it would be kind of fun to fly in the air and like I can see a lot of stuff from up there. <laughs> I want to have fun with a friend and then uh, I like to um, tell it what to do. <laughs> Because they don't have to be dependent on other people to take them places. And this one's actually pretty simple. If I wanted to become a robotic person, I Google can't help me build robots. I want to build robots for robotic, so I can't build a robot to help you. And another thing, Google corrupt. <laughs> 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 I love playing table tennis or ping pong with uh, my dad, sometimes my sister and my mom, um, watching TVs and even like going to school and meeting all my friends for another day and having the small talks and laughing and finding things joyous. Um, I'm sure you already know probably the two things that mostly excite me are sleeping and eating. <laughs> so I used to live in Australia before I came to America, so I lived in Melbourne, so uh, we live right next to the ocean, so it was cool like, you know, seeing the beach every day, 
and then go to Sydney Harbour and then like seeing cricket matches like in person at the you know Australian cricket stadiums. So yeah, I think Australia was really cool. Wow. Well, I'm here. Uh, no, I'll give an honest one. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, now let's go back to the actual, right? So, cool thing that happens to me, this, okay? I am so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Shake Shucks, for making this happen. I'm really glad for it. It was amazing. You know, all of you Kishore seeing a bunch of new faces. Yeah, I had a great time here. Uh, we still have Kale. We're going to do other stuff too. So, yeah, looking forward to it. So as you grow up more and more and you will uh, encounter uh, many more things in the world, you meet a lot more people, these things will become more and more common every day. So at that time it is really important for us to understand what it means to be a Hindu. Why should we do the things that we do? Why should we uh, decide, uh, make decisions in life the, the way that we do? It? So in order to be able to make those decisions, the right decisions that are good for us, not only in the present moment but also long term uh, that is good for our family that is good for the entire world it is important to understand what it means to be able.